front will sweep through, ending that precipitation even before the drive tomorrow morning. And then it's not only dry for the rest of the day on Tuesday, it's dry for the rest of the week and the weekend. We've got an extended stretch. It's going to take us into Monday before we see a next chance of precipitation. So high pressure and control. It's not going to do us any favors temperature wise. We actually see that take a dip before it comes back. So the bottom line on tonight's snow between now and 3 a.m. Highest totals are probably be in our west and north zone. We've gotten reports already of over an inch of accumulation. If we do see that transition to rain, it's going to be just a slushy commute. Nothing falling, uh, but obviously a lot of that's still going to be on the ground for some of those roads that don't get taken care of tonight. Then the winds start coming in tomorrow. Wind speeds are going to be close to 30 miles per hour, per hour tomorrow, at least the gusts in the morning. They will diminish somewhat once we get into the afternoon and evening, but at least for the first half of the day in the drive tomorrow, uh, that may be pretty noticeable, especially if you're going to be on those north-south freeways with those west winds kicking in. Wind chills, even though numbers wind speeds are going down, still going to feel quite cold tomorrow afternoon. 25 in Dearborn, 26 in Detroit. These are 7 p.m. wind chills as we get into tomorrow evening. South zone 20 to 25 is how it's going to feel as we wrap up the evening tomorrow. West zone, maybe some teens out there. Howell, Fenton, Flint uh, feeling like the teens tomorrow evening, and same goes for at least parts of the north zone. Remember, the winds are going to be decreasing, but so are the temperatures as we get further into tomorrow night. 34 is going to be the overnight low, which is uh, pretty much where we're at right now. And then we'll see a high temperature tomorrow, close to 8 in the morning, before those numbers start falling through the second half of the day. So here's the rest of the forecast. And yes, once we get past this mess tonight, uh, it looks pretty glorious. I don't think we've seen that many of those orange balls on this 7-day yeah. forecast yeah. in quite a while. And a pair of 40s uh, to top it all off over the week.